Hey, this is Mike Roney. I'm the author of the Sketchnote Handbook, and welcome to the Sketchnote Podcast. We thought it would be a great idea to take the book and the video and extend it further by producing some podcasts for you where we can explore some advanced techniques, we can uh, critique some work, and we can interview people who do sketchnoting so that we can all learn from them uh, as we go forward. So today, this first episode, we're going to focus on sketching out concepts. So one of the things that you face when you're in a meeting is you'll often come to a concept or an idea that maybe is difficult to really capture quickly, especially when you're learning how to, doing, how to do sketch notes. And so we thought it would be really interesting, following the idea of the visual library that we talked about in the book, is to actually develop these concepts for you on camera so you can see maybe how to solve these problems in advance, put those in your library, and then when it comes time for you to do this in a meeting when you've got little time, you've got that you can pull out and make use of. So we, I requested some suggestions from uh, friends of mine on Twitter, and my friend uh, Roger C. Parker gave me some great suggestions. We've picked three of those today. We're going to draw those out for you in really simple ways so you can do them quickly. So the first one that Roger suggested was the idea of overload. Now there's plenty of ways you can do this, but the, the image that immediately came to me was that of a person under the weight of a huge pallet of goods. So I actually had the person, I start with the person first and I've got his knees bent like this. And he's really just trying to strain and, and then drawing like maybe even the, the board is bowing a little bit because there's so much weight on there. And then uh, drawing boxes. It can be really simple, it doesn't have to be complicated. Boxes on top of boxes, maybe there's a round thing, maybe that's like a 55 gallon drum of oil. Maybe there can be little ones here as well. So depending on how much time you have, you know, you can fill that in as little or as much as you like. But the, the concept here is to really suggest this guy is really overloaded with stuff. Another thing that you can do is, um, you know, put a face on him, of course. You can also put like little movement lines here at the edges of the object. And what that does is it just suggests the idea of instability. And then maybe the final thing you could do is maybe put a floor underneath him if you wanted to have a little bit more detail. And then you can go in and add more detail. You can put clothes on them. You can put, you know, you can do things like oil on here. Uh, whatever it is that you want to do to fill in that if you've got time or if you want to come back and do that later. But the idea is you can do this really quickly. It's an image you can pull from your memory and use right away. The second concept that Roger had was something called impasse. I thought that was a pretty interesting challenge. The image that came to me right away was that of a really tall wall made out of brick, something you couldn't easily climb over and you certainly couldn't push it over. Yet on either side you could have people. I'm using our simple way of drawing people from Dave Gray. You know, maybe this guy's really straining. Not looking too happy. Maybe there's a little sweat coming off of him. And then there's someone on the other side doing the same kind of thing. He's just working as hard as he can to really push this thing, but not getting anywhere. Also sweating. So there's a really quick way to show the idea of impasse. And then if you, again, if you've got more detail time, you can come in here and draw lines like so to further suggest that this is an immovable object by just adding the detail of the bricks. So then it's you know, really clear that this is like a cinder block wall that is not going anywhere. So again, there's a really quick way to suggest impasse. And then the final concept for today we thought would be interesting would be that of indecision. So uh, one of the thoughts I had immediately was of a two-headed person. If you've ever had indecision, you know, often you feel like you're challenged by yourself. Like once one part of you wants to do something, but the other part is clearly not ready to do that thing. So like one part of you is happy, so you could draw this person, you know, being very happy about this decision. But the other part of you is not happy because it's going to mean change or it's going to mean something that's a problem. Um, and then maybe in between, you've got something simple like a question mark. And you can add some detail again. If you've got time, you could maybe put like a little bow, a little tie on one guy and maybe to suggest difference, maybe this guy's got a bow tie. Just to, to clarify, there's sort of this difference. You could even add like a little separator here so it's the same person but they're split. So that's an interesting way to draw indecision. So um, 
We hope you really enjoyed this first episode. We want you to participate in this too. So in upcoming episodes, I'd love for you to go on to Flickr and submit your work so we can pick some out that we can critique and show some work on this podcast. Also, we'd love to have your comments. Let us know what you're thinking. If you have ideas for concepts that are challenging that you'd like to see produced in this way, um, find me on Twitter at Row Design and uh, go ahead and send me those suggestions or find me in any other way that you can. And uh, we'll be happy to consider those and, and use those in a future episode. And then finally, I'm really excited and looking forward to picking some people who do sketchnoting and having interviews with them so you can learn a little bit more from a different perspective about this sketchnoting thing so you can keep on improving and uh, learn more about the community that you're now involved in. So thanks a lot, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next episode. Have a great time, and keep on sketchnoting. Mm-hmm.